antennas made out of liquid and drones snatched right out of the air. Those stories coming up in today's industry news update. Researchers at the University of Liverpool have been awarded funding to develop liquid antennas, which could help transform modern radio communications and radar. Most antennas today are made out of copper due to their good conductive properties. However, their size, weight, and along with the heftier price tag, make it tough to reconfigure with limited bandwidth. Researchers will need to identify the most suitable liquid material that can actually be used to make an antenna. It is known that water can be used and has potential. However, water becomes ice once the temperature goes below zero degrees Celsius. The liquids will go through a series of testing to see whether they can work in temps ranging from negative 30 to 60 degrees Celsius to see if they can transmit the correct frequency range and if they have radio frequency and microwave power range up to 100 kilowatts. This project will also investigate how to make a more compact and efficient liquid antenna that will allow for more flexibility and reconfigurable in terms of the main parameter, such as the operational frequency, radiation pattern, size, and suitable for a wide range of real-world applications. The approach for the entire project is to be able to meet the demands of the next generation of mobile devices and also meet the demands of the growing telecommunications industry. And how about a new prototype that catches full-sized unmanned aerial systems flying at full speed? The DARPA published its first footage of an ongoing project they call Sidearm, which is all about creating a mobile crane that lands drones safely in remote areas. Sidearm is a crane that can be used to snatch a drone right out of the air instead of scraping across uneven ground. The demonstration system paves the way towards self-contained portable apparatuses to launch and retrieve an unmanned aircraft from trucks, ships, and fixed bases. In testing, researchers used a Lockheed Martin drone that is being fired at a hook rail and net setup. The aircraft is released. The hook engages the rail and slows the aircraft towards a net. Once the aircraft enters the net, the aircraft nose barbs assist with the full stop. The system is capable of recovering aircrafts up to 1,100 pounds, exceeding DARPA's design objectives. The goal for Sidearm is to get the technology to the point where the drone launch and retrieval system can fit inside a shipping container, making it possible to move it by truck, ship, rail, airplane, or even a helicopter. Sidearm is part of DARPA's individual investment in Phase 1 and a program between DARPA and the U.S. Navy's Office of Naval Research. Now that the demonstration of the capture system is complete, DARPA is working to identify potential transition partners and exploring using Sidearm with other UAS platforms. That's it for this week's industry news update. Stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in automation, electronics, and robotics.